What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about retargeting ads with Facebook. Um, if you don't know what they are, I'm just going to be explaining what they are and why you should be using them. I'm also going to be showing you inside an old ad account of mine just so you can see the sorts of numbers I was able to achieve. And then finally, I'm going to show you guys how to set them up yourself and how to use them with your own Facebook ad account. Um, before we get started though, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been commenting on the videos. The support has just been amazing. I think we're almost at 100 subscribers now, which is just awesome. So thank you guys. And I want to make sure that the videos I'm putting out are relevant as well. I want to make sure they're helping you. So if there is a topic in particular you want me to cover, then just leave a comment below and I'll, I'll do a video on it within a day or two. So that being said, thank you very much and let's get into the video. What are Facebook retargeting ads then? I found this handy little image on Google that's just gonna help me explain it. So the process starts with a regular customer. They see your ad on Facebook, on their newsfeed or wherever you choose to put it, um, and they click on it. Now, once they've clicked on it, you can then choose to add them to what's called a custom audience of people that have visited your website. I'll show you guys in a minute how to set that up. And then once they're on that list, you can then choose to show them a particular ad. So the reason they're so effective is because someone might go on your website and they might be meaning to make a purchase, but they get distracted or they don't have their credit card details to hand or they, they forget their PayPal login. So they exit never to return. However, when you show them that retargeting ad, it just sparks that interest and they, they might think, oh, I meant to buy that. They see your ad, they click on it, they return to your website and that's when they make a purchase. Another reason being as well, if they've been on your site before and then they see your retargeting ad, at that point, they're no longer cold traffic. And now, if you don't know what cold traffic is, I'll try and find an image to, to explain it. It's basically, Someone who's unaware of your company is what people call cold traffic. And then the more aware of you they are, they then become hot traffic. And the closer you can get them to that point of being what people call hot traffic, then the more likely they are to convert. So if we put in cold traffic scale, go on images, and here we go. So at the beginning then, when they see your initial ad, they're in this section here, they're cold, they're unaware, they leave your site and then they see your retargeting, retargeting ad. They've seen it, they know who you are, so they're in this warm section. And the closer they get to this red section down here, the more likely to they have to convert. So you, your conversion percentage is gonna be higher if they're in here or whether they're in here. So here we are then guys in one of my old ad accounts. You can see that it's an old one by the fact there's been no activity since January 2018. Now a lot of you might ask why I've not been using it, especially considering I've spent over 35 grand on this one account. And the reason being is this one account was for a second general store. I had my original one that I started from day one and then I decided to create this one and it just got to a point where it no longer made sense to be running two general stores. It meant double the Shopify subscription plan, double the app costs, double the VA costs. So I decided to close this one down and just run everything from one store. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the results from one small retargeting ad set, just so you can see the sorts of numbers I was getting. It's one thing to talk about it, but then another thing to show you. So here we are then, this one particular ad set, 14 purchases and only three pound 18 per purchase, which is very good for Facebook. One thing I do love about Facebook though is that £3.18 might not mean a lot to you guys, but you can choose the results it shows you and you can pretty much ask Facebook to tell you whatever you like. So if you click on this columns box and then click on customize columns, you can choose these table headings here. I've already done this in the past and created one called Actions 5. And now what it tells me is how much money that ad has actually made me. So total spend then £44.46, total revenue generated from that 44 pounds was a little over 160 pounds which is a 3.63 return on my ad spend which again for facebook is very good anything over two pounds i find is where you want to be now i'm going to click on the edit button here and just show you guys the setup <clears throat> how you set the targeting up for a retargeting ad so once it loads we'll scroll down to this audience section here Once this loads, here we go. So 
custom audiences then and what we want to do is include our visitors so the way I like to structure the names is firstly the date so I can see when I create the audience we've got the product and then we've got the condition so the condition being visitors so this particular audience will be for people who have visited the car lead product page and then 30 days being how long people stay in that audience for now the reason I picked 30 days is because after 30 days, if someone doesn't see your ad or doesn't see your name after 30 days, then they might forget about you. So as we talked about before, that cold traffic, they might go from that warm traffic back down to cold traffic after 30 days. Exclude section then, we wanna be excluding people who have purchased that product. We don't wanna be advertising that same product to people who have already bought it. Now, how do you create these custom audiences then? So we're going to close this down, we're going to click on our drop down on the top left, all tools, and then we're going to click on audiences over here. Now once this loads, you'll see the importance of custom audiences by the sheer number that I've created over the past. So as you can see, there's quite a few, but they're all there for a reason, but that's another video. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on create audience over here, and then custom audience. We should get a pop-up that comes up, we do, and we're going to click on website traffic. And now what we're going to do is just change these drop-down boxes to create the custom audience. So we want people who meet any of the following criteria. There are two options, but we're going to leave it as any. This drop-down is for your pixel, so you want the correct pixel. This one matches our account name. And then instead of website visitors, what we're going to do is open the drop down and we're going to click on people who visited specific web pages and then we want the past 30 days you can go up to a max of 180 but we're just going to leave it as 30 and then we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to leave it as equals and then what we're going to do is po paste the url of our product in here so if we head over to the website of one of my examples we'll find a product We'll copy the link back to Facebook and we're going to paste that in there. And then, like I said before, we're going to structure the audience name. So it's the 4th of the 618. It is for the camera backpack visitors and it's the past 30 days. We're going to click create audience. Your custom audience was created click done now as you can see it goes to the top and now there's a blue dot here that says populating what Facebook is going to do now is it's going to pull up all the people that have visited that specific URL and it's going to populate your audience depending on how many people have visited depends on how long it's going to take but just be patient come back in an hour a couple hours and Facebook will have done that and that is how you create your custom audiences Guys, that's how you set up your customized audiences. Uh, we've looked at how to structure your ad setup as well, who to include, who to exclude. Now, ad copy wise, I just used to show exactly the same ad as the original one to people, but recently what I've been doing is personalizing the retargeting ad to people who have visited your site. So I'll put a message along the lines of, hey, I noticed you visited our site. Thank you very much. Here's 10, 20% off your next audio, off your next audio. And that's been working very, very well. So the key to Facebook ads, as I tell everyone, is it's just experimentation. Just start really small if you have to, one pound, two pound per day, but just try as many combinations as possible. And when you find winning ones, then just scale them. And that's gonna be it for today's video, really. Hopefully. You guys have learned enough to go and set it up in your own stores. Um, if you do, then I'd love to hear what sort of results you get. Make sure you come back to me and leave a comment below. Um, also, check out the links in the description down below. There's some f completely free ebooks for people to download, as well as a Facebook group. There's been a lot of people joining recently, which is just brilliant. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe and see you in the next video.